You good for one more? Do you want to switch over? What do you want to do? More. All right. <laughs> hey guys, Triforce of Doom here. And Razorfang. And welcome back to 13 Sentinels. I was thinking Gahara's going through memory bullshit, which is fun. And speaking of memory bullshit, there's also what Juro is going through. Yeah. Anywho, so there's, we got more Seki Gahara we can do. There's more Natsuno we can do. Uh, there is more Yuki we can do. And that's it. Seki Gahara... And then Yuki, and then not snow. Until we literally can't. Gotcha. All That's right. the plan for me right now. Understood. Ah, mm. oh, the policeman just isn't here. Yep. Now. Oh, we got that path done. Next moves carefully. And there's no one in the phone booth. There we go. Could've I'd actually walk in the booth. The number you have dialed is no longer in service. Fuck. Please try again later. Well, that was worth a shot. Mm-hmm. The note says four four what could it mean? Hmm. A gun from the under the end. It's him again. He did say he'd call again. I'm trying to remember if we did go over that at all in the previous block. Hmm. A girl with red glasses and braids. She created NMC0204. The same pills I take. I saw her at the school. But what business would an android have there? Besides, there was something different about her then. DD-426. Likely the root of my memory loss. But who would create such a thing? And why? Come in. Oh, there we are. Are you there? Right. That's what it was. He told he we we got the communication device. They contacted us, told us to stay put, and we did not listen. Mm. What business did you have there? I wanted to learn more about the person I killed. Forgive me. I should have been transparent from the start. Did you see anyone else there? Did anyone see? Partners don't lie to each other, after all. Partners? Us? You really don't remember. You and I are working together to save everyone. Everyone? Even the one I murdered? That was a necessary action to prevent Operation Aegis. Alright, does the voice sound familiar at all? Sounds like Ida. To me. There's no coming back after total annihilation. And that was reason enough. It's why you agreed to take the job. What job? You were tasked with retrieving information. It was to be extracted from a certain data unit. But circumstances have changed. That unit may jeopardize our escape. You must destroy it. It's likely hidden somewhere at Sakura High School. And it may be accompanied by another student. Seek out Natsuno Minami in <laughs> Class 1C. Is that an order? Not at all. I'm merely presenting options. The situation must be dealt with one way or another. Don't. 
seems not it seems not to know and BJ have multiple targets on their backs. Mm-hmm. Alright. Natsunomi Nami. All I was told about her was her name and class number. She may be in the possession of that data unit. If not, she'll know where it is. <clears throat> Here we go. I don't trust him, but for now I have to cooperate. It's my only shot at recovering my memories. Tomorrow, once classes are over, I'll pay a visit to the school. I'm just waiting for someone. Miwako and the others? No. Someone else? Ah, okay. Well, I'll see you later. Okay, see you. He doesn't realize he just walked past. <laughs> Also, I just noticed hey, all the like tree leaf shadows on their bodies as you walk past it. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was hoping you'd show up. I believe I owe you an apology. <sighs> uh, I see. Guess I'm not your I lost my memories. Huh? Yesterday, I only pretended to know who you were. What? But there's a reason I wasn't honest. I still don't know who my enemies are. I can trust you, right? Seriously? Of course you can. Then I'm going to need your help. I'm happy to help, but I'm not happy you lied to me. Why didn't you tell me sooner? I'm sorry. I never said anything to you about them, did I? About my memories, I mean. Nope. You tend to pop up out of nowhere when I do see you. <laughs> and when you do, you never really stick around long. <sighs> Although, the last time I saw you, you had this look in your eyes. Like you really had something to say. Maybe you were planning on telling me then. Do you know a first year by the name of Natsunomi Nami? Nachan? Yeah, she was just here. She's the one I was talking to before you showed up. <sighs> that girl in gym clothes. She's probably gone by now. Do you know Nachan? No, not at all. Hmm. Yeah, how do you explain that to her? seen this note before? Hmm. I don't think so. Yuri-chan! Oh, hey, Miwa-chan! <gasps> <laughs> Good. Chill out, Miwa-chan. So, are things going well with you? <laughs> God damn it. Oh, well, uh, I'm not sure. I'm right here. So did you get to first? Bruh! <laughs> no, you didn't go to second, did you? Already, Yuri chan? Oh my god. Are you done? <laughs> Sorry, I'm doing it again, aren't I? Classic Miwa chan. Well anyway, just keep at it. Uh, thanks. What are you holding, by the way? Oh, this? I'm trying to figure out what these numbers mean. Let's see here. Hmm. Oh, I think I know what these are for. What? <laughs> you know what these numbers mean? Y yes, I think so. Please tell me. They're for the telephone message service, I think. It just started last month. Oh, 
where you can leave messages over the phone? Ah. My mom uses it. Whenever she works late, she leaves me a message. Uh, why don't I get out of your hair? <laughs> you got this, Yoichan. Wait, Miwa-chan. A message service, huh? For you, Sakasan. Oh, Karate kun. See you later. That's Juro Izumi. Yakushiji. Well, things are currently awkward between them as they usually are. Treatment. Mm -hmm. And she's the one who aimed a gun at my head. <laughs> she's definitely up to something. All right, let's go. Hey, Kun. Where are you going? There's something I need to do. <sighs> Could she be connected to the ones chasing after me? I guess there's only one way to find out. It says Kurabe on the nameplate. Do they both live here together? Table set for three. The your coach? Dinner's already. <gasps> so we meet again. It's easy when you're the one holding the gun, isn't it? But not so much when you're staring down the barrel. Now tell me, you said that I asked you to shoot me. What did you mean by that? That's just what I was told. Who ordered you to shoot me? Tell me everything you know. I... Stop! No, wait! You shouldn't startle me like that. Unless you want to die, that is. Juro! Just who do you think you are? You can't barge into someone's house without permission. I remember you. You're the one who shot that robot at Tokisaka Shrine. What? <laughs> this is between me and her. Stay out of this, Juro Izumi. Izumi? You've got it all wrong. I'm Juro Kurabe. Whoever you are, get out of my way. Juro! He's not dead. I only stunned him. I still want an explanation. Why don't you just ask for yourself? The brains behind the whole thing is sitting on the TV. The TV? <laughs> well, I guess we're doing this whole thing. <laughs> Hi, Fluffy. No way. You are not a talking cat. <laughs> there must be some trick to it. The only trick here is my unrivaled genius. Cats aren't stupid, unlike humans. Are you another android? You tried to ditch your sentinel. You thought you could escape the game? <laughs> game? Are you talking about the fight against the kaiju? Sure am. All you could ever think about was running away. But it looks like you came around eventually. I'm guessing you learned some new information. New information? Yeah, you know. The unshakable truth. That's why you came crawling back. And begged me to put you back in the game. I did? The gun she aimed at you is a nanomachine injector. Anyway, as promised, I'll let you back onto the battlefield. When you say all I could think of was running away, do you mean I was trying to escape from this world? <laughs> Who knows? Then what did you mean by new information? Man, you really don't remember a thing, do you? You can always ask, you know. 
Maybe the guy behind you knows something. <laughs> Bastard! Just what the hell do you think you're doing? Miyurakun! Sekigahara? Miura? Uh, did you say. Miura? <laughs> Man, us being as behind on Megami's thing as we are is uh, definitely something. <laughs> hmm. Sentinel number 17 as well? For all third generation Sentinels, actually. Tomorrow, son. Just know, I don't intend to report what you told me. However, I suggest you stop poking your nose where it doesn't belong. Afraid I can't do that. Now, I need a favor from you. If anything happens to me, I want you to keep my line open. Uh, fine. Hey, Miura. I saw Tamao Karabe at the Sentinel number 18 lift, too. Who is she? Is she also from the future? She's Sentinel number 18's pilot. But I thought what? only AI could operate Sentinel number 18. I noticed you didn't refer to me by number. You used my real name. Well, you did say you were a human once. So you believe me? Listen, Sekigahara, I have some matters to discuss with you. You got awfully serious. What is it? Perfect view of your face from up here. Quite imposing. Anyway, what is it? Remember the conversation about the mainframe? That's the computer in the underground UFO, right? Right. It turns out it was created in the year 2188. That's even further in the future than Ida and the others. I'm positive that's the era they come from. I spent a lot of time analyzing the mainframe's data. That's when I found a massive report on this so-called 2188. I've only managed to decode a portion of it so far. Once I'm done, we'll find out what set this all into motion. Who knows? We might even find a way to save the world. Really? Now, on to the real issue. The data on the mainframe has been quarantined. Someone made it inaccessible. I'm positive Chihiro Morimura was the one who did it. Morimura? If I had to guess, there are some things she didn't I, want us to find out. I, I thought she came here to help save this world. It definitely seemed that way. But as it turns out, she has ulterior motives. There has to be a way for you to access it. I've tried everything. It's impossible. So there's nothing we can do? <sighs> I'm going to let you in on something. Something even Tamao-san doesn't know about. There's one more data log. The one I copied to my brain. So you created a backup. And it's stored in the memory of Sentinel number 17? That's right. But if Morimura finds it, I know she'll erase it. You think? She probably isn't the only one who wants it erased. That's why I'm asking for your help. If this 
Sentinel suffers extensive damage. Please recover the memory block at all costs. When that time comes, I'll be counting on you. I won't let you down. By the way, on what brought you here in the first place? Oh. Well, I came to update your system. It won't take long. There's that now. Hmm. And you say you want to do Yuki next? Yeah. Alright. So yeah, Seki Gahara is an interesting one. Yeah. Alright. Like, who's human and who's not anymore at this point? <laughs> Fuck. I was let go? They're probably still watching me. Just waiting to use me. Hmm. Whatever Goto and them are trying to do, it's beyond me. Menji Ogata, Class 1D, has made the claim that Erika Aiba is not who she says she is. If that's true, then who is the person that's been following me this whole time? And what does she want with me? Hmm. Ryoko Shinonome. Seems like she's com but she's the one who told me to hide box. Right before the incident in the girls' bathroom. There we go. There was another Kisaragi chasing after Nachan. Kisaragi is also one of the names on that list. So that means Four Eyes wants me to watch her. Nachan was hiding a box in the locker room. Come to think of it. That projector I hit looks a lot like a box, too. Could it be the same one? Wait. Do you have more? I oh. I need to take a closer look. Ah. Uh. I can't let Iba know about the SIU. I'll have to go alone. I saw something that looked like a weapon in the Shikishima facility. But what Goto and Shinanome said doesn't make sense. Maybe they let me go so they could track me to get to the organization behind the scenes. All right, that's what she mentioned by I was let go. Mm. Nachan, my child. Oh, wait, oh, wait, she's. There you are. I've been looking for you. <sighs> uh, let's start with this one. Put that off as long as possible. Sorry. I just remembered I had something to do. We're done investigating for the day. Aww. <laughs> nice and simple. Mm hmm You're so floofy. Ugh, it smells like mold in here. I saw something that looked like a weapon in the Shikishima facility. But what Goto and Shinonome said doesn't make sense. Maybe they let me go so they can okay, try to Okay, let's skip this early. I, I already heard all this. Weird. Right, where was the, oh, there it's it is. In here. Let's check this shit out. It's somehow able to project things. <sighs> How did Ryoko Shinonome make this thing work? I guess you could call this a box. So, this is what Nachan was hiding? If only I could show this to that track girl. <sighs> Yuki Takamiya. Aha! Uh -huh. Good work, Takamiya. You managed to recover it from him. There's valuable confidential information in there. <laughs> Confidential? 
confidential. Yes, in that data unit. You had orders to look for it too? Uh, actually... Anyway, good job. <laughs> what guy were you talking about? You haven't heard. I came in here because I thought I saw him. Aseki Gahara. He's a vicious criminal that will stop at nothing to get his hands on this information. Hmm. I don't think I'm that bad. <laughs> Damn. I didn't kill him. He's just unconscious. Hey, hands off! Get away from my box! Right. Do you even know what this is? <laughs> this guy was saying it's confidential, so... Activate AI. <laughs> Miura. Do you know who I am? You got your memory back. Where am I? Sector 4. The old building at Sakura High School. Then we have a problem. Natsuno got left behind. Did you say Natsuno? <laughs> yeah. Are you talking about Natsuno Minami? Does that mean you know? You know where Nachan is? Who are you? I'm Yuki Takamiya. But that doesn't matter. Just tell me where she is. I do mean Natsuno Minami. According to my last memory, she is currently marooned in Sector 3. Sector 3? You'll understand once we get there. I'm trying to remember my sector number orders. Let's go, Miura. Pretty sure Sector 3's 85 or this is 20. 85. Then it's 2025, I think. I think they go yeah, cause in descending ass, order. Man. I think. Maybe not. I don't know. I'm trying to remember how she ends up in that time period. She had to learn about the time travel stuff somewhere. Yeah. I mean, she had to become a Sentinel pilot somehow. Yeah, Sector 3 is 2025. Okay. So, yeah, we definitely haven't gotten there in Natsuno's really? story yet, to my memory. Where's Nachon? Where else could she have gone? I can't believe the stuff about time travel was real, too. How long has Nachon been stranded here for? Canned food isn't hard to find if you look for it. As long as she didn't do anything reckless, she should still be alive. But it's not snow. <laughs> I was going to say. So, what happened to this place? It was attacked by the Daimos. The Daimos? The swarm of machines that look like monsters. No one is left in the wake of their attacks. And their next target is your town. What? The only chance we have of surviving is to fight back with the Sentinels. Sentinels? We need you for this too, Takamiya. You're saying I have to get in one of those things? <laughs> yes! I've seen one. In Shikishima's facility. 
They were calling it number 14. That's Ryoko-san Sentinel. <laughs> He's back. Right on the boy. <laughs> so, what'd you find? I scanned for heat sources from the air. I detected no signs within a five kilometer range. God damn it. We may have to prepare for the worst case scenario. Shut your damn mouth. If she is still alive. She's either deep inside a building, or she's moved farther away. I will widen my scan range. Not John. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Well, that shit got real. So she's not 71%. Ah, boy. Mm hmm. Probably one more for the part itself. Yeah. We couldn't find not John. Oh, okay. So that's gonna be happening in a different person's plot point, probably. Scared in that probably in her own. I won't give up on her. A city in ruins, and this one's next. Is that what this place is gonna look like? I can't even imagine. That guy I met inside the old school building. He's on the run from those black suits. Named Sekigahara. He'll be hiding out in one of the old classrooms for a while. Him and Miura. If I want to rescue Nachan, I'm gonna need their help. Alright, so the, the, the recon was done at least. Mm-hmm. Found out where Nachan is. She's been left in the ruined future city. I may not be able to get to her yet, but I will save her. Probably the box, maybe? So the box I thought was a projector was actually a talking machine named Miura. And the stuff Nachan wrote in her notebook, she must have been talking about that. So it wasn't just made up. I'm sorry for doubting you, Nachan. I saw something that put me to get. There you are. I've been. <sighs> Don't you have anything better to do? I will do my best to assist you in solving mysteries. How would you like to start? So, what should we do? Conduct interviews? I'm not playing pretend, you know. Uh, yes, of course. I am merely your capable assistant. Huh? Well, at least I'll try to be. Oh my what god. We look into How first? much dialogue do you have? <sighs> okay, there we are. Are you upset with just. Look, okay, we'll have to be able to, like, confront her about this. We're going. Been keeping this place all to yourself, huh? Hey, you got a sec? You have more questions? I already told you everything I know. Hmm. Sorry for bothering you. Oh, maybe the cafeteria. Wait a minute. Are we looking for clues in the cafeteria? Nah. I just want something to drink. Gotta keep my mouth occupied. 
You want something? Nothing for me. Thank you. Ah, oh, here we go. Yuki chan. Amiguchi. I'm telling you. Destiny sure wants us to be together. Uh, this again. How's that hay C? I heard vitamin C helps keep you healthy. I'm not drinking it for my health, dumbass. Not Chan used to drink it, that's all. What the hell do you want anyways? How about a date? No thanks. <laughs> I mean, really. How many times is it gonna take? For it to stick in that floppy haired head of yours. How about until you go on a date with me? <laughs> My god, man. She's going to give you a black eye. So I was thinking. Ooh. A bike? Sounds wonderful. Who's this? <laughs> Apparently, she's Watson. From another country? Bruh. <laughs> Sorry, pretty boy. But I got more important things to do today. We are actually quite busy. Okay. Well, I guess I won't keep you. You're awfully docile today. Just don't want you to hate me. For being too aggressive, you know. Huh. Yuki chan? Next time's a date for sure. My god, man. <laughs> well then, shall we? Yeah. Yeah, I, th I think that's something we will be able to do at a later point for plot stuff. still wearing the uniform from your last school oh uh yeah you know if you need help with anything come and see me anytime all right Mao-san, morimura gave this I note haven't to heard me from you in some time where have you been <sighs> you need to check back in with him understood she wants me to do something and the first step is talking to Aiba. All right. There's something I want to check on the way home. Come with me? Certainly. Hmm. Literally called the person to mouse on. Where are we going? Uh, here we go. So, I ditched class this morning. Went to pay someone a visit. Who? Erica Iba. In the hospital. <laughs> uh, the real Iba has been sick. Confined to her hospital bed. And I overheard you talking to the school nurse, Morimura. Mm -hmm. She called you Tamau. Is Tamau your real name? Ugh. Well, I guess the jig's up. You're right. My name is Tamao Karabe. I harbored no malicious intent. Plus, a twist like this in the third act? It makes for a better detective story, don't you think? If it means something. Oh boy, does it! So, do you recall what event happened be basically before we were playing as Yuki? The bathroom incident? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You remember the incident in the girls' bathroom? 
Yes, but why bring that up now? There were two Tomi Kisaragi's witnessed that day. And I recently found the second one. Who's there? Ah, oh, the Sekigahara. Hey. Oh. oh, what are you doing? Is that Tomi Kisaragi? It's a machine made to look like her. An android. <gasps> Can't get it to work anymore. Data's been corrupted, too. But before it was destroyed, the inside seems to have been replaced. Meaning he got away looking like someone else. Who's he? Juro Izumi. <laughs> he may be without a body, but I know he's plotting something. Apparently he's in Juro Karabe's head. <laughs> we'll get there. In the last place you'll ever look. I found this shoved into a broom cupboard. He must have hidden it himself. This place is behind the North School building. The girl's bathroom. The other Tomi Kisaragi. This is the culprit. A robot? Weird, right? And it's been bugging me all this time. Who this guy could have jumped into next? You know what I mean? <laughs> about these nano machines I just learned about them myself actually had to sneak into the Shikishima facility to do it but yeah but you weren't expecting Takamiya here to go actual detective mode <laughs> not really no <laughs> they said someone close to me altered me somehow several times in fact what's the matter cat got your tongue because the only person who always seems to be around me <laughs> is you. <laughs> and so that, that that's why uh she was sticking around uh Yuki so much. Mhm. Mm You're not Erika Aiba. You're not even Tamao Karabe. You are a fugitive. One that used a robot who looked like Kisaragi to escape. You are housing the consciousness of a mass murderer. A man by the name of Juro Izumi. The fun part is, she, th she, this is believable to her. She traveled to 2025 earlier. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you think I'm a man? Are you okay? Well, this is annoying. I could swear I made sure to erase your memories. Finally dropping the act, huh? I suppose this time, I'll have to erase quite a bit more. Like hell you will. Look behind you. <laughs> so this was a trap. Morimura's idea, actually. <laughs> it's been a while, hasn't it? I never thought I'd see you dressing up as a schoolgirl. You're insane, Juro. At least I'm more sane than you. Trying to save your own ass by derailing the Interstellar Project. I'm doing this for you and me. We can make it out alive. Not the you as you are now, but the one before you awakened here. For the small sacrifice of 15 other lives, it's not a sacrifice. They'll be able to lead happier lives this way. Even if it means they're denied their future without ever knowing why? I have shot you here on Sumire Bridge once before. 
I have no hesitation as I do so again. Oh shit, Iba! Stay back. It's not dead yet. You really are a robot. Just what the hell were you doing to me? Getting you ready. Ready for the game that will soon begin. Things are about to get underway. I don't have time to deal with nuisances like you. jumped. Jumping from this height in the state he was in. Not even a body made of metal could survive unscathed. He shouldn't be able to move very well. We need to surround the perimeter. Yes, ma'am. You need to go straight home. We'll look around where he fell. Understood. Kaiba. Hmm. Hmm. So yeah, that happened. Mm-hmm. Oh, and this Gerard Crabbe bit. Oh, and that needs not to know. Ah, yep, because that was the specific unlock condition for Juro. Hmm. So do you actually want to move on to Natsuno or continue Juro? Continue Juro. All right. Mm. And after this, we'll want to check how long the part's been. All oh, right, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, in that case, hold on. We're just going to end the part here, yeah. actually. So, yeah. With all that said, this has been Triforce to do. And Razor Fang. Peace out. Oh, man. Yeah, I know we just want to keep going and going, but yeah. we also don't want these parts to be an hour and a half long. I've done it before with Persona. It, it, it's something. <laughs>